Hey guys, MD Prepper here. Another gear review. This time we're going to be talking about water purification options. Uh, this one in particular is going to be on the Polar Pure water disinfectant. Uh, I had a comment that somebody wanted to see some more vids on alternate ways to purify water other than some of your basics. Well, this is still one of your basics, but it's an alternative option. I would say not one a lot of people know about, unless you're a big hiker, camp, or something like that, you may. So, this one's the Polar Pure. We're going to talk about that here in a second. Um, great option. Of course, I have this uh, portable agua little tablets that everybody's familiar with. Uh, if you're a military hiker or anything like that. First, let's start with the cost comparison. Talk about things. Iodine tablets. Um, about $10 a pack for the individually wrapped little packets. I don't have a problem with those. I like these. They're good for a small kit. Um, going out for a day or two, something like that. You just want something small. Put in your survival kit, etc. Um, this is 20 tablets, which t treats only 20 quarts, as it says. Um, little full wrapped packets there. You can tear those off and use them as you need them. These are expensive. Uh, 10 bucks for 20 quarts of water. That's 5 gallons. Uh, 5 gallons, uh, again, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's not bad. It's got its place. I'll probably do a review on this at some point. Um, unfortunately, if you read the fine print, it says that for this product to be... Um, fully effective and trust your water source, you're going to need to let the treated water sit for four hours. That's a long time. Four hours on a hike when you need water, it's a long time to carry around a bottle full of water that you can't use. So, eh, I don't like that. Uh, and again, I don't like the idea of $10 for five gallons of water. That's pretty expensive in my you know, line of thinking. Polar Pure, obviously bigger, but for cost savings, this is the way to go. This is one of the cheapest ways that you're going to find to purify your water. Uh, as they say, you're going to have to use these. Uh, you can use these on camping expeditions, hiking, um, mountain exploration. They use these in Himalayan expeditions, all of that. This is I've got others of these. This is one in the original packet in my backup to my backup supplies. So just figured I'd pull the whole thing out here. Comes in a dark brown bottle, uh, kind of big. You say there's nothing in it. Well, there's a little bit of something in it. There are little iodine crystals, uh, little metal balls is what they look like, down in the bottom of this. And you are not going to be able to see this on the video, but I'm going to try it anyway. Maybe, maybe not. You can see some of those little crystals floating in the bottom. A little round pellets, if you will, or virtually round. Uh, that is iodine. Uh, the way you use this thing, you keep it filled with water. This one I don't. This is my unusual one. Uh, my unusual one, rather. Uh, you keep this thing filled with water, and what's going to happen are those little pellets are going to leach iodine into your water over the course of an hour, so you need to keep this ready to go. Um, and after that, it's easy. Um, I would not travel with this thing empty uh, if I was actually going to use it. i do my other one. Keep it filled. Keep it filled with water. Uh, it does not degrade with age or time or temperature or anything like that. So it's ready to go when you need it. So don't wait that extra hour when you need it. Keep water in here. So what you do, you've got water in this, let's just say. And you need to use it. You need to purify some water. Well, look what you got. You got a little temperature gauge here, like you see on your fish tanks and stuff like that. It's a little dot, which I doubt you can see there. But anyway, it changes. The dot lights up with temperature uh, and shows you how many capfuls per quart or liter of water here. Uh, you know, 1.2, 1.5, 2 2.0, 4 capfuls, etc. Um, so basically all you do is when you need to purify, let's just say, what you need a quart of water, you got that sitting there, and let's say it tells you you need 2 capfuls. Well, here's your cap. A uh, little measuring plastic on the inside. Uh, you dump the water out, 1 capful, 2 capfuls, good to go. Now one thing you may notice when I tip this over, no iodine crystals. Ooh, or, or, or those little pellets. Where did those go? You've got a little plastic, black plastic sleeve in here that goes down to about there. And uh, basically that acts as a catch. So when you tip this thing over, you're not going to spill your capsules. If you drop it, something like that, that's a nice little safety option. And you're not going to dump any of these little pellets into your actual water and oversaturate it, anything like that, or waste it. Uh, this thing is usable as long as you can see little pellets, crystals down there. I'd say little pellets, little BBs to me almost. Little itty bitty BBs. Um, 
good for 2,000 quarts. That's 500 gallons. Uh, again, this stuff works somewhat based on temperature, how much it's going to dissolve, what your saturation is going to be. So you, you obviously have this little temperature gauge to tell you what in the heck you need to do. So you just put the right amount of capfuls in there. Good to go. Uh, once you put the capfuls in your contaminated water, it takes about 20 minutes. Let it sit there for 20 minutes. Now you may complain that it's got an odd iodine taste, which people complain about a lot. That's treatable, very easily treatable. Wait until it's purified, wait till it's done its job, and you're good to go. You got that smell, that odor. Well, here's what you can do. You can add drink mix to it, you can add sugar to it, or the best option in my mind to bind up the rest of the iodine floating around is a vitamin C tablet. Take a little vitamin C tablet, crush it up, or just a little bit of it, and dump it in your water supply. I mean, you can always use a little more vitamin C. It's not going to be bad for you. Good antioxidant. That's going to kill the flavor. So, you need vitamin C around the house anyway. You know, grab a tablet or two and throw it in there with this or with this um, for any of your iodine options. Obviously, if you have iodine allergies or problems with that, this may not be the best option. This is very cost efficient. This cost me, it was anywhere between $15 to $20. I can't remember the exact price, but it was, let's call it $20 at the most. $20 for 2,000 quarts or 500 gallons. So, 500 gallons for less than $20 or 5 gallons for $10. You do the math. Uh, this has to sit for 4 hours. Once you've used it, this has to sit for 20 minutes. This is the better option. You say, well, it's glass, uh, it's going to break, I'm worried about that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you don't keep this in your right front pocket. Keep this in your pack, in your uh, dry bag, that type of stuff, for when you need it. You're not going to use this all the time, okay? Uh, put this somewhere. This is good thick glass. It's going to be okay, all right? Um, you don't have to carry the whole big box. Uh, it's mostly just a big old box with a little commentary on why they feel iodine superior to your other options, all of that. But again, two thousand quarts or 500 gallons for 15 to 20 dollars this is the way to go for any kind of long term 500 gallons for one person that's about a year and a half just off of this that's not including all the alternative methods there are to purify water your filters and boiling and all that this is going to be nice to have around guys uh, i have at least one of these i've got several but um, i use one and i have a couple more laying around just in case I need them to pull them up. Is this going to be my preferred method? No, I'm still going to use boiling and filtering if I can, but for water purification, for drinking water on the trail, on the hike, this is going to be better. Uh, drink my fill out of my bottle, refill it in a stream, put the right capfuls in this and start walking. And I'm not going to need another sip after I rehydrate it for, you know, a minimum of 20 minutes. That's going to be plenty of time. Four hours? That's eh, a little long. Again, and this is more cost efficient. Now, if you're just going on a day hike or something like that, just on a trail, this little big, yeah, this would not fit my ultralight kit by any means. This would not be what I would choose. You've seen my videos on water filter bottles, and I'll be doing more of those in the future. But Polar Pure, very nice. There's a bit of a shortage going on right now. I think it's due to some California regulations where these things ship from. Uh, so Amazon is out of them at the present time, but you can find them on some alternative uh, tactical gear sites and SHTF stuff. Polar Pure, doesn't look like much, but it's very, very nice. Very nice option for a very low price. I would certainly have a bottle of this laying around the house, just in case. All right, more vids to follow. Andy Prepper, out.